Are you thinking about becoming a teacher? Maybe you're a little trepidatious thinking about your training and whether or not you are properly prepared. Well, I want you to meet Dr. Victoria Thyssen Homer. She's the director of the Arizona Teachers Residency at NAU. She goes by Tori. Okay, I'm gonna call her Tori this morning, but you say that lack of preparedness has been leading to a lot of burnout for teachers. And we're gonna talk about that in just a moment. But first of all, super interested in this residency program. Tell us about it. So we are the first uh, residency program in Arizona that's affiliated with the National Center for Teacher Residencies. This model of teacher preparation became popular about 20 years ago in Boston and Chicago, modeled off the medical residency. Oh. Is the idea That's that interesting. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the idea that and it was working. So why not? It was working for doctors. <laughs> so why not? Why not apply this to teaching? Because teaching is such an incredibly complex profession. It is that they deserve to be prepared just like doctors are. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And so what you do is you give people the proper tools, mm -hmm. right? Uh, because the retention has been a problem. A lot of teachers are getting burnout. They're overworked, right? So yes. so this program takes a bit of a different shift. Right, so actually teachers in Arizona are leaving at a higher rate than anywhere else in the nation, so we need this kind of program more than anywhere else. Mm -hmm. And so our, our entire approach is to thoroughly prepare and support teachers before they go into the classroom so okay. that once they become a teacher of record, they know how to teach effectively, they have a support network that can help them, they have induction support from a, a fully trained, full release mentor mm -hmm. in the field, and they have these opportunities to pursue national board wow. and they get paid more because they now have a master's degree. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Um, but you have to meet criterias, right? So who is a good candidate for this program? So we have a great deal of diversity in our existing cohorts. Age diversity, we have a bunch of people in their 20s and a bunch in their 50s. Oh, wow. We have folks from all walks of life, different career paths. You just have to have a bachelor's in anything. Okay. You doesn't have, matter what it is. Doesn't matter what it is. Okay. Okay. And you can have experience in schools or not experience in schools. Wow. Okay. So teachers who have alternative credentials, emergency credentials, um, or credentials in early childhood are all eligible for this. Okay. Um, folks who are uncertified, long-term substitutes, um, and anyone who doesn't have a teaching credential but has a bachelor's degree. So let's talk about funding because you think master's degree, I'm like, how oh, am I going to afford that, right? But you have all different types of opportunities to help us achieve our goal. How so? So we're really lucky here in Arizona that we have something called the Arizona Teachers Academy funding, which was adopted through the state. And so what that means is that folks who are in an eligible teacher preparation program mm -hmm. leading to certification can have their tuition covered. Okay. So wow, most folks who are eligible in our program, all of our residents so far have had their full tuition covered. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. And the and best part is you help everybody through that process. That's right. So we, we help folks apply for Arizona Teachers Academy through NAU. We also are a program of AmeriCorps. So all of our residents get a living stipend wow. during their first year of apprenticeship. Because that first full year, they're not a teacher of record. They're an apprentice in the classroom of a skilled supervising teacher, taking on more and more responsibility mm -hmm. as they learn how to teach. And we're paying them a stipend and offering full health care um, and child care stipends if they need it and um, rainy day funds wow. and other kinds of support. It's amazing. And we're lucky to have support from the federal government for that. Uh, we just got a large education innovation grant, which we're excited about. And then we also um, are very lucky to have donors like the Burton Family Foundation and other private donors who donate to the NAU Foundation to support our program. Wow. Well, you've brought it all. That's for sure. Thank you. And thank you for supporting teachers. They're so such an integral part of our community, and we love our teachers here on Sonoran Living. So thank you so much, Tori. Okay, here's our contact information one more time for Arizona Teacher Residency at NAU. Here is the website. It's aztr.org. You can also email your questions to aztr at azk12.org.